What I'm going to give me opinionated peeps. So people, right now, I have a video for sure you know, that was recorded by the Jamaica Beacon. So, of course, I have to say all credits to the Jamaica Beacon for this video every time. All right? Now, the reason why I'm bringing you this video is just in case anybody out there sees it and has some way in which they can help this family. Now, what the video is all about, it's about a mother, her eight kids, and her two grandkids living in a wooden house that was recently built and they are now being told they have to vacate the premises and move in 30 days. They have nowhere to go and them just come in and just tell them say yo we don't have 30 days if you left the property. All right let's jump in and take a listen to what the circumstances are and what led to all of this. All right let's do it. We're here in Linstead and we are on a spot of ground owned by NROC. NROC is a public company that was established to represent the Jamaican government's interest in Highway 2000. Right above these buildings is a section of Highway 2000. The occupants of these houses, three houses, have received notice to vacate the property within 30 days. The notice was given by NROC last week Saturday. NROC came here along with members of the Jamaica Constabulary Force and served those notices. So we are here today to find out from the family where next, what next, and how they will move on from here. The house you're looking at, it was built by a philanthropist by the name of Rebecca Stewart. She's a Trinidadian living in the United States. She came here and built the house for the children. It was done just a few days ago. And just to let you know, the house you're looking at is occupied by 10 children. Right? The head of the household is Natalie Hutchinson. Of the 10 children, eight of them belong to Natalie Hutchinson. Two of them are her grandchildren. The house is also occupied by four adults. So, in all, 14 people occupy the house. They are being told to move. Before the house was built, there was another person occupying the property. And we are told that he is the one who gave Miss Natalie Hutchinson permission to build on this property which doesn't belong to him. So when we arrived here they were very very pleasant Miss Natalie Hutchinson and we asked them to not allow the children to come in the video but the children are all here. We're gonna take a closer walk. Please share the live we're in Linstead today, a family at a crossroad. We're going to show you a bit of the bridge that forms part of Highway 2000 and, and how close it actually is to the house. That's a part of the bridge. It's almost over the roof of the house, right? And that's one of the concerns NROC and political representatives here are raising. They are saying that if a vehicle should careen off the highway, it will land perhaps on the roof and crush virtually everyone. So there is an issue about safety and also there is an issue about the possibility that the house being here at the foot of the highway may eventually lead to erosion you know and weaken the highway so there are many different issues at play welcome to the beacon live please to share the live very pleasant family so far there you have miss natalie hutchinson and uh, her son swin sullivan yeah some music there Okay, so 
this is a part of the slope that leads up to Highway 2000. We are, we are live. Live. Yes, this is a better angle. This is the house. That is the highway. So they are divided only by a slope. And the concern is if a vehicle should run off the highway, perhaps you all will be crushed. Miss Natalie Hutchinson, do you buy that argument that safety is the main reason you are being told to move from here? Say touch. What does that say? They are saying that uh, one of the major issues they are asking you to leave is because of uh, safety. You know, a vehicle may run off the highway up there yeah. and uh, crush, crash into the house and kill you all off. So no vehicle not run off a highway, then just don't want me here. That is true. Why don't they want it? Because men, well, man, many vehicles run past the highway. After, this is not the first house over here. One container, one lady, they live right here in our container. A bad man is making a movie lady. Not, nothing in around here, so. It's just that they don't want me to leave. They want me to go back on the street to go back and take me pick them. Bad man, people, don't it be? And you were living here before the new house was built a few days right, ago. Right, sir. They live back at that man also who give a gun a jail now and give me one, 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 what do you call them again? Hot. One hot Filipina. Yeah, yeah. So I never have nowhere to go. And he give me the piece of land up here so I can make it out. And I can make it out. And I couldn't go no further and I find the people and find foreign, then come and help me. As the lady put it up no one gone, then that fight me say, I can't stay here. I'm mm -hmm. near Mr. Rose from Parish Council. Yes, but do you know who actually owns the land? Mr. China. Yeah. This side is from the Mr. government. Yeah. The government the government owns the land. Right. And you know they have an issue about squatting. Yes. Right? But my name is concrete house. Uh, uh. <laughs> I don't squat me, I don't know squat me, I know me one. More people live down this up on the road. On, on the land. land. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I live before we. And so I live there before us. Why have you resorted to, to squatting, as they would say? Why are you here squatting? Do you have anywhere else that you can live? No. no. We are told that you, your family has a piece of land at this side, that outside the right. town of Linstead. We don't live down there, sir. Is me that true? I have land there. I have land there. I'm asking you. They don't hold it to my family, I have land there. I don't have no land here. Can you stay there? It's not my land. It my father never write one piece of paper say, piece of Natalie. So I got them a beat down. And it is also said that there was an agreement and food for the poor was building a house on the land Where? in no, this side. No, no, is that no so? house never built for no land in this side. The man is there to pick you now, yes, give me one house over there, yes, it has brought down, and so comes the guy put me down and out down there. Yes, <laughs> no house then I make buy food to the poor. So are you, are you willing to leave within the 30 days that Enrock gave you to leave? 30 days, are you going to leave? To go. Well, we are all going to 30 days. I don't have no way to go to the night of Because if Mr. Rowan, if any rock they talk before, so we could not put the house here. After we done, the woman done pay a woman million dollars and get contributions from foreign. And that thing, yes, we can't put it there. Pardon. Listen, I spoke with a representative of NROC. His name is Philip Myers. His position there, senior manager for land acquisition, right? He said he learned about the house being built. By the time he got the notices written to serve you guys, the house was completed. So the house took perhaps one or two days to be completed. So that was a short time frame. So he couldn't have given you notice within that short time. That's what he's saying. So do you believe that is the reason, the speed with which the house was built? Eli, the people then got to all. Me did I make the foundation already. High stamp. The lady from foreign come and get it and find out and in one day she take and do a party here, dig a party here. The guy who give me down there said, him up here the least. So I him give me here, sir. And never, never, never come here no details, none of them time. When the people then put up the house down and the guy and the people then have this dispute, they have this dispute the Friday night, it's Saturday when we go to the market, my son come and show me paper for the, the two hours. That's the notice for you to right. vacate the property. Right. So are you going to leave? 
Me not know if we got him a choice for them. Mm-hmm. Yes, you said that earlier. Sad. And you are Sad. not going to reconsider your position. 30 days so quick, 30 days at one month and the month done. So how much time True. would you need? Me need to find a piece of land yet. I need to find a piece of land. I want to, I want to, I want to go behind the heart, quarry with them. So do you want to make an appeal for people out there who perhaps have a piece of land that can give to you or? I land, I don't want to land on a bush because I have to struggle for my picnic. I'm my father, I'm my mother for them. I'm my father, I'm my mother for mine. Eh? You say you don't want any land in any bush? No, no bush. As in the rural area? You know some place? Yeah, let, let me just, just say this to you. You're telling me now that if you are given a piece of land where? in a bush or the rural part, you wouldn't go there? I never tell her that, but it depends on where. That's why I look at the ticket, I have to let them go market. Because I'm not feeding nobody, not feeding. If they beg people, a problem. If they go up on the street, a problem. No, I put them yes or no, I still have a problem. So you want a piece of land in the town area? You may have to kill them and please people. No, you can't do that, my real no pain. No, man, not say that. No, 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 You know, a lot of these children, you're perhaps will become the next prime minister or prime ministers. You don't know, you know. I kill them all. Yeah, because a lot of us are from very humble beginnings. Born in poverty, raised in poverty, but we made it through. Yes, when the guy made the problem, when did they make the problem? I don't think he passed, I didn't want to marry. Go to Mr. Garrett and Mr. Garrett said, I can't go ahead now. So I sent out the now. And the woman gone home last week now. I bang around again. Yeah, the reason, the reason, I'm going to talk to your son a bit from now. But the reason I'm emphasizing the. I mean, no, Mr. Rose was so good. And when I talked to Mr. Rose and I found phone, because I'm going to talk to Mr. Rose. Down there. Mr. Rose, I'm going to tell me, when I talk to use water, bridge, I'm going to tell you. If you use water, I'm going to use water. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to buy water. And you're talking about Mr. Sidney Rose, who is the councillor for Treadways. Him, hey, sir, man. Let me just walk with them and just play so much years. Well, tell them to give me your house, 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 tell them to give me your house. Yeah, I'm going to go back to the issue because I need it to be cleared up. Yeah, would, you accept, no, would you accept a piece of land if people are giving it to you, for example, in this side and other rural parts? I'm not going in this side. Why? No. People told me that you were given a piece of land in this side and you were being given a house. Hold on. And you told them that you're not going in the bush. Go live. Let me tell them. As in this side is a bush. My daddy buy a piece of land. We are on a this side, around a mock and a can around this and I go live. When I go in my pit in my night, that's why my sister not stay there because I want a piece of house to find it. My sister woke up a case when I go in my night time, then hold him up. Oh. Take him where I rob him. So when I go go with my ticket, ticket them one night when I left market, I go. Walk up. We know you go around on this side. You can't walk back through this. So. Two mock and a larry drag up a house. Oh, that me does. When I grow on this, I go. I nah go there. Yeah. So I always live on a tree if we come to the hills. Yeah, you know. So where were you living before you came to this piece of land? Don't have a bicycle shop. From the bicycle shop, cross the train line. And the bicycle shop is on the, is on the sidewalk. Right, right beside Vanity Fair, Fair Bridge. Right. So that's in the middle of nowhere. Right. So I'm coming to now in peace now. They make life me and my pick them now. Mr. said, was and him rocking everybody now. Those three men and these people don't have an argument and the man going to jail. Well, Mr. No... <laughs> when I call him one night, I thought he's a boss, what he can do for me? He must say, he must want if he can work if he go down on the flat. Oh. When I call you, woman did a dig you out this apart and then tell you... You mean the flat? Oh, they're saying the, where you are now is a part of the slope that was manually built to hold up the highway, right? This is the slope. So you are saying now the possibility of you relocating to the level or the flat area is being considered? Yeah, because I did a heart to. I did a heart to them. One night I said, there's one man quite telling me that I heart to them. I said, well, he must say, he must say, I can't, he must work out here to make it flat. If I can't get here, I will not get it flat. I can't get here, I can't get here, I can't get here, I can't get here, I can't get flat. But, but if you don't move, if you don't move within the 30 days, it is likely that they'll come and bulldoze the house. Tear it down. Bulldoze? Oh, bulldoze. Oh, Where you pinning them? Yeah. Mr. Rose, you're not pinning them? 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 Mr. Rose, you're not pinning them
no, 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 Alright, no, no, no. Mr. Rose isn't here to respond to some of those allegations, right? But he's a, he's a political representative and uh, he's trying to push what Enrock Enrock is saying. So this is your son. Is he your eldest child? Yes, I'm Bertrand. Are you the first one? Nope, You're the second one, Swain Sullivan. How does it feel to see your younger siblings in this position? Well, you feel that way still, you know what I'm saying, like, feel that way. But, and Mr. Sidney Rose are pushing all of this because they have something against you, you know what? Well, I cannot verify that. Yeah. What, when I spoke with Enra, which is the company that the government placed over its interest in the highway, Enra told me that they are the one who came here and served notices. They didn't say it was Mr. Sidney Stewart. So we cannot accuse him of being the one behind all of this. Right? Yeah, so we're just going to leave out Mr. Sidney, Sidney Rose. Yeah, not Stewart. Sidney Rose out of this for a bit. Right? Yeah, so we're next for, for the family and for you. What are you doing? Are you employed? Yeah, I work on me company, a Spanish town. No, me well, I don't work now because you say media come in. So that's why I'm a tech today. So, so we are asked if nobody can help you out or what? Help our brother and sister them help you out. Because in 30 days, we can't move in 30 days. We don't have nowhere to go. So if they can reconsider that until we get somewhere, we're willing to move. But we don't have nowhere else can go right now. And if the place here right now, take off the brother and sister them off a road. And you see, they're not on the road like how they frequent the panel road like last time. Since you was building a steel pier and something. So this will take them off a road and get them out of trouble. But it look like they're not looking to that. Because they want them to dip on the street or something. So if you can reconsider this and if you can find somewhere for them to go. The whole we go, we would appreciate it and then it, we move and take the time and build up and then come out of the island. So if we can help you out, we can help you out. Your younger siblings have a tough life. How was life growing up for you? Well, it never hard for me because since we get big, as soon as we get big, we come here and so say never had for me. And my father never did it for me. I like change I like change that raised me and something. So you know, okay, kinda of hard but not really hard like how them have it now. And so, so I just so. What's the biggest dream you have for your younger siblings and your mother? Well, my biggest dream right now is for when we get rich. And in our big job and get rich, I help them out, send them to school and something, and make sure they go to college, the right show and something. You know what I realized about that statement? You didn't say if you get rich, you know. You say when you get rich. Yeah. And that is where it all starts. True. It's not a matter of if, but when. Yeah. Right? True. Yes, and you know, a lady by the name of Rebecca Stewart, they call her servant Becky. She's a Trinidadian living in America. She could have helped a lot of people in Trinidad. But she came to Jamaica. This is not the first house that she has built. She has built many before in and around Linstead. Right? So we don't want her to feel discouraged because of this incident. You understand what I mean? I don't usually take sides in my broadcasts. But I am going to go and say, servant Becky Stewart, continue to do what you are doing, right? But I guess this is a learning situation. You can learn from it. Next time you ensure that people provide you with the written document and written approval because she got word of mouth yeah. and she built many houses in these parts for people like your family. You understand? And we don't want her to stop. So people send up a heart for servant Rebecca Stewart we want her to continue to help these people in Jamaica right she has been doing it for a long time and we really hope she'll continue let me just repeat that can't emphasize it too much yes so you're now at a crossroad your family is at a crossroad your mother is saying she isn't likely to move especially within the 30 day time frame right do you think an injustice is being done to your family or you think it's just the enforcement of law?
Well, my thing is just the enforcement. Them by 30 days we can we can we now if we go. 30 days look a bit. And I like say we have someone could have go. Cause if we have someone could have go, we we'll look come here so come build this. I know we we'll go push power up. So if you can look over that and give it some more time till we get someone who got willing to come out. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching and listening to the Jamaica Beacon and we are here in Linstead. Right in the vicinity of the Linstead Fire Station. A family at a crossroad. They don't know where to go next. A mother, Natalie Hutchinson. Her adult son, Swain Sullivan. And there are two other adults living here. Along with the adults, there are 10 children. Eight of those children belong one of them is pop is showing up in the video right there. Let me just take it off her. I don't want the children in the video, right? Yeah, so Natalie's 10 underaged children are living here with her. Right? Eight of those children are her biological children, and two are her grandchildren. Let me just make that clear. Right? So 10 underaged children and four adults. 14 people occupying this house this piece of land and beside them there is somebody else but we gather he he isn't around now you want to talk no mama when i finish talking oh let me just show them inside the house Okay, we're trying to get the children out of the video. Go on under the bed. <laughs> Whoa, this is a nice place. How many beds? One, two, three, four, five, six beds. This is the place that servants Stuart built. Nice and clean to me like that. Nice she not only clean. built it. She furnished it. One, two, three, four beds. One, two, four new three, beds. four new beds. Right. This one, this one, no, this one. Five, six, seven. Yeah, so there are seven beds in here, but you got four yes. from servant. Yes. Rebecca Stewart. Yes, so everybody sleeps in here. And there's a young baby right over there. A newborn. That is Miss Natalie's grandson or daughter. Granddaughter. Whoa. And you know the fascinating thing? I can, I, I, I've been saying this since I came here. You don't know what the future holds. Perhaps that's the Prime Minister. Next Prime Minister. Future Prime Minister. Lying right there. And that's the reason it's important for you not to give up. And to just continue to press on. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, thanks very, very much for joining us. We'll be leaving very, very soon. Please share the live. Those who can assist, please reach out. You're watching the Jamaica Beacon Live. You're one of Miss Natalie's daughters, right? Yes, sir. And this is your daughter? Yes. So this is one of the Grand. two grandchildren yes, who live here. How do you feel about the entire situation? Sir, my mother now not know where to go. My mother struggle with all of us to go to school. My mother have young children to grow up to come to the next prime minister. So my mother now have know where to live. I can't move my mother here in 30 days, sir. None at all. I swear for my life. So you're talking about your mother, but what about you? You're an adult now, and a mother too. Yeah. What about you? Me go and come in over York Street. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes I come look for my mother, sometimes I don't come look for you. Mm -hmm. nice. my, mother, my mother too, as we struggle, take them off high street. Mm -hmm. And my mother. Now I know where to live. 
in 30 days. No, I thought she did work. And I'm, and I'm a son, my brother right here. Go go up against the paper and tell her. When I put up on a film, I put up right down there. So I put up down on the man. I tear the tear off the man. Oh. And the man gone to prison. Mm -hmm. From last week, sat there in now. Wait, mommy. Yes. My mother and I don't know you're telling me. Yeah. I go home to so Sunday evening, so my mother and I don't know you're telling me. Oh, so you just come here sometimes? Yes. Yes. So how do you feel about the situation that your younger siblings are in? You were in a similar position, situation too. Yes. And you know you have, you have become an adult. Yes, sir. Yes. So looking back, how do you feel about this struggle? Yes, sir, sometimes I'm on the street for bed, so for live. Sometimes I'm on the bed, people. They could start on a van to fear. I eat my mother's cell pan sometimes. She did her help a man. But I link to forget money to take care of them and feed them and close them. Yes. The man is too hard to come over this land, so. Many two hours down there somewhere now. But they're there for my mother. Yes. And this man tell my mother saying, can't live on the land free, can't pay a lease. Yeah. When that is not the case? Yeah. We don't know if I pay any lease. I went and say I pay a lease. Mm -hmm. You know, show my mother no papers at all. Yes. No receipt. So we don't know what to know. Yeah, one of the fears is that uh, the child development agency may come here and take the children away. That's one of the fears, right? Yes, sir. How do you feel about that? Sir, that too hard for you to take my mother's children and I don't care them at home. Sir. That too hard. That too hard. I don't leave my mother for fret and death. We don't have no money right now to take care of the baby. It will be expensive for them. Yeah, and uh, you know, some people may say, and they may, you know, not have some nice things to say about me after I ask this question, but it is a question that I have to ask as a journalist, right? Yeah. So let me make that clear. Whether people like it or not, I'm going to ask this question. People are saying sometimes poor people have a lot of children without setting the foundation, you know, building a house for them first, getting a job, and, uh, you know, they just have a lot of children without nowhere to go. Um, do you, how do you feel about that, and? Uh, not too hard, you know, not too hard, you know, not too hard. Do you think that people should think about uh, their position, their economic position, financial position, uh, and otherwise, before they have a lot of children? No. So I just yeah, tell my mother have you know, sir. That's not about children. But we are ten picnic, twelve picnic, sir. That's not about picnic. Yeah, yeah but it depends no. on your position whether you can afford a piece of land first or whether you can't. Because if you can afford a piece of land, it is okay to have a lot. But when you don't have a place, you understand what I'm saying, Swain? When you don't have a place to go and you have a lot of children, that makes it even more difficult. That is true. Sir. That is true. So you you have learned from the situation, I think. Yes, sir. Yes, you understand what I'm saying, Swain? Yeah. So, so, what do you, how do you feel when people say that? Well, we feel that way still, you know, we still you know, we feel that way. But, it done not matter already, so, all we have to do is just work with it and help out who we can help out and who we can help out, help you out. Yes. So, we just have to work with it. Yes. And this is not something the children should feel bad about, because you had no choice. Yeah, you know. But you're an adult now, so you can think about your children and your children's yeah. future right but you came in the world not knowing where you were going or what next you just went with the flow until you are in a position to yeah. make your own decisions as to where your life will go yes yeah, so Swain you're the, you're, the, you're the adult you're the, you're the man of the yard now <laughs> right yeah. you're the man of the yard so you have a responsibility to ensure that your little brothers and sisters stay off the road yeah. and you know that they take up their books every now and then. Do you do you take an interest in their welfare? Yeah. In that from, way? From long as we're here, we make them out. And so I mean sure so they are right and so mm -hmm. then time we cook, make sure they get out so. Mm -hmm. So yeah, them are alright, but I just this is a problem you now. So if then could I give you a little more time to find somewhere? So now yeah. food, you got them no, no problem. Your sister says sometimes it's also very true, but yeah. you know, a lot of people have been through a lot. Yeah, rough on this. A lot of people. And your mother, one of the arguments I heard is that your mother, she doesn't want to go in the rural parts. Well, that's, that's, what, that's what I heard. Well, and I put that, that question to her, right? Yeah. But I'm a rural man, I'm a countryman. Yeah. 
you know i am a countryman and a proud one but you know d side is where she told me her family is from and there's a problem there as it relates to crime you know so that's the reason she doesn't really want to go there well she may have some auntie and uncle they know really business are care them see a road them pass here call to them they not call back to you or nothing them not care and we see them often they not care mm -hmm. so enough time i go look for her and she not even want to come out or out on the veranda so she not care none of them not care mm -hmm. and we down there first and they make sure left we don't know what cause it mm -hmm. so they make sure left on some so we don't know why conflict or what yes all right i have another question for your mother so thanks very much you're a very humble person when we just came here came here you came to the gate and you greeted us well you seem like a young man on the right path yeah. right so keep it up so, yeah. 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 miss natalie natalie gone on body please natalie gone Okay, on the other side of the road there are a lot of posh houses beautiful houses a, scheme over the road. a housing the scheme house. thanks very very much people thanks for joining us yes, welcome. thanks for being on the jamaica beacon jamaica beacon live we really hope that uh, the family will find somewhere safe and secure to go and they'll get some additional help. We know that servant Rebecca Stewart will continue her philanthropic work. You know, she told me personally that she isn't going to give up on the children. And that's really, really commendable. These children have been all over the streets of Linstead, running up and down. I don't even know if they have online classes. Where the mother is? Them. Do they do online classes? This is school clothes. Yeah, but uh, government is talking a lot about online classes. They don't have ta they have tablets? No. So they don't they haven't been to online classes or anything like that no. since COVID? No. Oh. So I next bigger one this. Hmm? That's another she's an adult? She's your 13 year old. No, I can't talk with her on camera. Oh, the kitchen. This is a part of the. Yes, this is the kitchen that uh, servants to what built. So that's the bedroom, a very large bedroom. And the bathroom. This is the kitchen, and the bathroom is right there. This is the bathroom. Yes, flush toilet. Yes, so they have a bathroom also. Thanks very, very much, people. Thanks for joining us. Miss Natalie, I want to ask you this question before I go. Online classes, I gather the children. No, no tablets. Don't have tablets and... They don't have no tablets. And I said, lady, what about you? I said, you know, I carry a tablet and so come for me. So I stay warm with them, so I'm me and them there at the time. So I don't have no tablet. We put them out. You and two of them, you and I. And then two of them in school, me not have no tablet. Mm -hmm. So me turn me on to them. Yes, yes. And I must break through them for them. Yes, I don't mind the stones that they may throw at me for asking this question. I asked it one of your children earlier. But I guess you are the most appropriate person to really ask. You know, a lot of people are saying um, people should plan out their life, how many children they want, perhaps get a piece of land and the, and the house first before having a lot men of children. Them out of. So how do you feel about that? I no, used to all of that already, my brother. I used to all of them that are already. So did you consider that when? I used to all of them. Because I know some money I could do from up and all over there. I used to them. 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 So I used to them. I used to them. I used to them. The last one of me have a four year old. So would you encourage younger people to think about their yeah. financial situation, etc.? Yeah. I know that they are going to talk, but I just want to talk about that. So tell us a bit about you growing up. How was life? Tell us a bit about your life. Life, when I come from life, I grew up hard. I was one. They don't treat me good. Mm -hmm. 
When I live up in Kansas Spring Road, my mother never treat me good. I prefer them more me. So I saw them, they hang me said, yeah. They didn't get gone and father dead gone. Dead left all the lugs, you give them me no get none. Our people who know give me things. Like this a man that when he, he, he my labor right when he see me. Clement Duane. Alright, let me just tell the people who Clement is. Oh. Clement Duane <laughs> is a listed man. A man with a heart for the community. He's very much involved in sports and he's also involved in politics. Right? He very so recent, very, giving back in all areas. Right? He's always on the ground doing work. Clement wanted to Clement wanted to become the Jamaica Labour Party's candidate in the Linsty division when the next local government election is held. We don't know when that will be. Right? But there were other people also vying for the position. Three people, right? Clement. And uh, somebody else was selected over you. And a lot of people are saying, you know what, Clement, we see on the ground every day. And I don't want to inf try to influence what the party thinks or what other people in the party may think and what your team thinks, you know. Yeah. But uh, that's not none of my business. <laughs> but you're always in the community. Always. Your politics, I don't business about that. But you're a community man. I build that. You build that. You're the one who built that yeah, one. For, for the guy. Yeah. Yes. And yes, so you built it on a piece of land that belongs to Enrock. Enrock. Yes. yes. And you are seeking you are seeking to become the counselor. That may not seem I never did a good an move. investigation about the land. Mm -hmm. I was just passing by, so I'm in a little six by four hut. So I decided I will help him. I never just really I never really investigate who owned the land. I know it, I, I, to myself I said it's a government land, but it was in Ratland per se. I never know. So I went and did that for him. Yeah, so you built that yeah. right there for him. Yeah, for him. I don't know him from Adam. I just passed by and see him and decided to he need help, so I'm gonna help him. And it was a joy to see this. To see the new one. To see the new one for Natalie. <laughs> Because I've known Natalie for years. Her sister and brother is my classmate at school, so she's no stranger to me. And I've always tried to serve her in any way I can. But it's sad to see this. Sad to see what? The host there are, are, Inviction. are the, the eviction. Eviction. Yes. So how do you feel about the entire situation? Especially because government is saying the place is unsafe, right? They are right at the foot of the highway. That's one of the biggest arguments, especially Councillor Rose is putting that forward, right? If, if a vehicle should run off the roadway, it will run right into the house perhaps and uh, perhaps kill people there. So do you buy that argument? Yes, 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 yes. That's why, that's why the government moved the house that were here for safety. Some people are not looking at it that way. You know. Because if a, if a truck or a bus or a trailer come, came, come down from off the road, they are in danger. And as well, it's not really said the government land per se is a private land. And what they are saying is, if the water used and the land gets saturated, then the road will collapse. So we have to look on the two sides of the coin. So we have to try to work out the best way to make them comfortable in the future. Yes, yes indeed. It's a very sticky situation. It's a very sticky yes, situation. Yes, and both sides have concerns that are legitimate. Legitimate. Yes, because I don't think it's safe. I'm going to put my opinion right here. I don't think it's safe for you and the children to be living there, Natalie. But I don't think they should, you know, throw you off the property without ensuring that the children especially, and you as a mother, have somewhere to go. So perhaps they'll need to extend the 30 days, give you some more time and assistance. Yeah. I know Clement can probably galvanize some we, support. Yeah, Clement, you're a community man. What can you do to... We can try, see if we can get... As I, I heard, I was listening to the live before I came out. And I heard she said she don't want to live in no certain bush. bush. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of hard because to get a piece of land in the town is very hard. So we have to really go on our 
planning board and see what best we can do for her. Okay. Yeah, but some people miss, miss, miss Natalie, you are very rude. You want a piece of house in the town and if you are getting peace in the in the country. You would that they may say what I'm marketing and you and I look coming yet a family marketing with people. So when we come in and I we come here go when tax it abroad. Me have to walk with them. You forgot you forgot them. Yeah, people may work with me and work off of me one. That people may sell with. People may sell with a market. Oh, so the, crown, the, the rural area may be too far out of your reach. Right. Room. So your argument is, shouldn't be that you don't want anywhere in the country. Your argument but, should be is that you don't want anywhere right. too far too from far. your work. Yes, sir. Because there are rural areas in, 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 in the Linstead area. Yes, sir. That aren't very, very far from the town. Yeah, you, can you can take, take taxi. a taxi and, and yeah. reach. Yeah. Because so when Chris had me a piece of land, I said, Chris, can you give me down for the flat? He said, no, you might extend out. You're going to help him to extend to put him mad at <laughs> Okay, him. let's not go into Chris's business. So, no, that's what yeah. you get up mm. there, sir. They are done as well. In this, in this end, they'll give me the key and give me the key again. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because I think if it was here, on the flat, mm -hmm. it would be a different now. Yes, and it would be more difficult for a vehicle to right. run off the road. Because at the same spot where this house is, you know, in the same spot they moved a house Can't from before. Yeah. Yes. They moved the house from yes and, and when they were going to compulsorily acquire the land right the government acquired this land before the highway was built right, right. the government removed some people and compensated them right. relocated them some relocated some of them yeah. right That's so right. this land was occupied before the highway was built but the people who are living here were compensated and put elsewhere because of safety issues and you know they were building the highway Right, so it's not just now that the government is having a concern about people occupying this piece of land in terms of living here. They had that concern before the highway was built. And that is the reason the government compulsorily acquired the land. Right? I was telling people that's a piece of Highway 2000. Those who don't know, it runs right through Linstead, right beside the fire station. The Linstead fire station is on the other side of the bridge. All right, so the waning. Yeah, I so. live right across from here. I live and you live very Van close to here. Yeah. But you know, a lot of pretty houses are over Van Fair Garden. So the people over there complain about Miss Natalie and uh, her children well, here. We, or never, this state no, of. I never heard of any complaint about Natalie and the kids. When are they at the time? I got told this and I'm not going to tell them. I'm not going to shop when they are at the time. Coming back at night time. When you come in, you cook and you turn on the tank and you get your water. Go be at. I'm going. That's all. Yes, we're about to go now. Thanks very, very much, people, for joining us. Thanks, sir. I'm sure servant Rebecca Stewart will continue to give assistance where possible and where Thank necessary. You. But our biggest concern, I think, is to find somewhere to put the house. It's a wooden structure. It can be removed. Um, the foundation perhaps will have to stay. <laughs> but the house, the material, the zinc, the wood, you know, they can be relocated to build a, a house elsewhere, right? So I know one of our biggest concerns now is a place to go. It's a place to put the structure. So if anybody out there is willing to assist this family in terms of a piece of land, not very, very far from Linstead, Nat Natalie told me she doesn't want anywhere in no the bush or in the, in the country. But she doesn't really mean it that way. What she means is, is that she doesn't want somewhere too far from Linstead where she works. Right? So, thanks very, very much, people. Thanks again for joining us. Thanks to the children. We can't show their faces, but some of them are right up there. They want to come in the camera. They want to appear. Right? But, you know, they are children. We have to keep them out of this. So what, your, what are your words as we go away from here, Clement? You are passing by and you yeah, opted was, to stop by. Well, my advice to them is to try and see quick as possible if we can get a piece of land to lease. And I'm going to jump on that also. Because I know her a long time. You're close, 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 close. So I'm not going to leave her. Alone. Yes, and I know servant Rebecca would want somebody like you on the ground. Not that her people on the ground aren't helping, but you can be of much help. Yeah, I'm because you're one of the most famous men in Linstead. Right. Tell them. If not the most, <laughs> not, not one well, of I'm... the most famous. All right, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Big chat, you know. All right, Swain, we're about to go now. All right. Um, good? Yeah. Oh. oh, we don't want the children in the camera. We're about to go now, Big Brother.
Yeah. You want to say something, Miss Natalie, before we go? You have trouble, that's all I tell them. You tell them you save trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Swain, what are the final words that you have well, on this broadcast? The final words we have to say. Mr. Henry, yeah, man, I want to tell you, I beg you, I ask you, please, big son, I talk to you, and I tell you, please just give you a little more time to look, can't find somewhere, or just look over. Please, we ask you. That's all I have to say. Thanks. Yes, yeah, a lot of intelligence in that. Thanks very much for taking that leadership role. All right, Unstoppable family, here we go on now. Me like how the big son talk. Very intelligent youth. Me like how him talk with respect. Him no disrespect nobody, none at all. Um, as far as the kids see if it go, me can't see the mother love her pitney them. Yeah, me know some of them are going to say, boy, she shouldn't go have so much pitney and she know her situation and all of that. Yeah, we understand how that goes. And as true as it may be, the situation is what it is already. Right? Now, in 30 days, it's impossible for your family to just uproot and find some of it go, especially with 10 pitney. You understand? That quick, it's going to be hard. Right? Now, as we can hear the big son say, one of the things, you know, him just ask the, the, the Enrock people, then please give him a little bit more time than 30 days, in which if they give him a little bit more time, hopefully somebody, you know, out there, where listen right now, will say, hey, you know, we have a nice piece of property right here, so or a nice house where we now use, them can probably occupy the house, right? So hopefully they get some assistance, some well-needed assistance, all right? People, as we say, if you want to assist, you can reach out to the Jamaica Beacon over there on Facebook, doing a very powerful, great job, all right? And we love what the Jamaica Beacon is doing, all right? Talk to me down below in the comment section. Share this video. Get it out there so that more eyes can see this, all right? This has been another one. No matter what, don't make nobody stop you. Your opinion matters. Talk to me down below, see you? Whoa, unstoppable you, unstoppable you, unstoppable you